everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Uh, in this video, we're just going to simply show you how to delete and undelete a takeoff. This is actually very simple, but if you haven't used the program often enough, you'll notice that there is a small button here that a lot of people don't pay attention to. Show deleted takeoffs. Uh, if you're not aware in Acubit, you cannot technically, in quotations, delete a takeoff. Um, and I'll show you why. So, just going to select anything here. Transformer. Hit OK. So, there's your takeoff, right? Let's say somebody deleted or, or you deleted it by accident. Right click, delete. It's gone. You're freaking out. Where'd it go? How'd I get it back? Oh, I'm just gonna take it off again. I admit, this is the way I did it in the beginning too. <laughs> but if you do collect, uh, click this show deleted takeoff, it will show you every single thing that you delete it. So anything that's striked means it was deleted. What this means here is you can recover any of this. I can highlight every single thing, right click and hit delete again, and it's all back. Show delete takeoffs gone. It's all there. Delete every single thing again. It's all gone. So it's up to you if you want to keep this like this. It's it, For me, it's annoying when I'm reviewing stuff. But if you're new to this and you've got a supervisor or somebody that kind of oversees you, he, it doesn't matter to him. He knows how to check stuff. He knows if you move stuff around and delete your stuff. Now, the negative part about this is you can come in here and you can also delete stuff from here as well and it'll be crossed out you can highlight it again and delete it and be back in again the negative part about this is you can come in double click this double um, come in here and then you can also delete that and all your contents for that assembly is gone you can hit OK see now it's all gone and you can hit finish that's the negative part so when I say you technically in quotations cannot delete anything that is one way but the only way is it would have to be multiple items within an assembly to be able to truly delete something but if, like I said, if you have a supervisor and he goes in and obviously there is no items in an assembly no more, then he knows you messed up and you're going to have to put it back in there. Uh, once again, this is Alfred Flores, CEO President of New Age Electric. I hope this helps. See you again. Thank you.